When I became superintendent, I pledged my efforts to make the department better and as a result, make the city of Chicago better. We made vast reforms in the department and we're only at the beginning. But we still need to address the cycle of violence in our neighborhoods. To that end, CPD has implemented new strategies for deployments and proactively seeking out violent offenders before they can commit another crime or become the next victim. But let me tell you folks, as long as we fail to hold them accountable for their actions, we're going to keep hearing a similar story when it comes to murders and shootings on the south and the west sides. I'm asking our state legislators and citizens of Illinois to give me the tools necessary to keep our streets safe. We need a comprehensive solution to reduce violent crime in our communities. Part of that solution is legislation that allows for judicial discretion in ensuring that repeat gun offenders are held accountable for their actions. By taking violent offenders off the street, we can bolster our efforts to concentrate resources in the areas that need it most. What we're trying to target here is, is repeat violent offenders who are in possession of guns, people who we know will do harm unless we inca incapacitate them for a significant period of time. And to that end, uh, Senator Munoz has uh, introduced what will be known as a violent gun offender sentencing act, which should be sponsored by Senator Munoz and uh, sponsored by uh, Representative Zaleski in the House of Representatives, that would provide presumptive guidelines for repeat gun offenders and uh, violent offenders who are uh, found in possession of guns that would utilize the existing ranges of penalty. However, uh, what has happened historically is many of these offenders would be sentenced would be sentenced to the lower end of the, the range. And so our presumptive guidelines would say if this is somebody we know has been repeatedly uh, caught with a gun, that if there's a three to 10 range, that that person should be sentenced towards the top of that range. 